Summer, sun, waves, sand between toes, X Games. Summer rocks to a soundtrack. Skateboard trucks grinding rails. BMX wheels whirring. Motorcycles soaring into the clear blue sky. The game has changed. I don't believe what I have seen. Athletes, fans, together, cheering, stoked. Summer is sweat, work, and pushing boundaries. Colby Raw! Oh my goodness, he does it by an entire foot! It's never been done, and dreaming of gold. Oh, Ryan Williams has done it! Summer is a vibe. Like X Games, it's over too soon. Get some while you can. X Games, better when you are here. Nineteen X Games creating magic memories have been held in California since 1997. Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego to name a few, and now Ventura, California would like to enter the chat. We are back and we are live. Welcome to X Games California, my friends. My name is Salema Masakela, and I am joined by the hosts of the Hawk vs. Wolf podcast. Yeah! Jason Ellis, yes, X Games, Burt Legend. Baby, let's go! Let's go! And the GOAT, the greatest of them all, Tony Hawk is in oh, the building! Thank you. thank you, Salema. Thanks, everybody. Gentlemen, 24 years ago on a Friday night, we were in a similar position in a city called San Francisco. 5,000 people gathered to watch Best Trick, where this man, Tony Hawk, battled with a trick that he'd wanted his entire career and just like this the 900 went down the shot heard around the world and skateboarding and action sports were catapulted into the future into the mainstream and here we are now in ventura tony i know you are fired up what are you looking forward to here in 2023 at X Games California. Well, selfishly, I'm looking forward to the vert action, of course. Uh, we have some of the best of the best here. We've got uh, all the top pros that are going to be competing tonight. Uh, and then we've got the best trick covered on Sunday. But the park course is insane. The street course is insane. I mean, every time I walk around, I see NBDs. So I'm just looking forward to all the action. NBDs, never been done. And it's not just skateboarding, because for some reason, we got dirt bikes flying in the air. Moto X Best Trick is happening tonight, but tomorrow, quarter pipes quarter pipe. in Moto X Big Air. We are going off, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about dirt bikes flying into a quarter pipe, pretending to be skateboarders with 20,000 times more horsepower, just slingshotting themselves into the atmosphere and hoping that they land in a good spot so that they don't explode. 49 feet to be exact, that is the record of that man, Colby Raha, who's looking to make it three in a row in Moto X High Air. Gentlemen, Jason, Tony, I'm gonna send you guys to the vert ramp for vert competition. Thank you. And for you folks at home, yes, um. as you can see, the crowds are here. Ventura is out here. We are feeling alive at X Games California. Don't make any plans this weekend. There's nothing else you need to do. Just watch how ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, Twitch, YouTube, we have you covered. Or just come out and party with us here in Ventura. And without further ado, let's get to competition at the Pacifico men's fur competition i'm gonna head and send it over to my man mr brandon graham so much excitement in vert jimmy wilkins versus eddie but you got a young 15 year old who has something to say as well brandon day one will become night one here at x games california a beautiful sunset stages us for men's skateboard vert the pacifico men's skateboard vert 
What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside a couple of the busiest guys here in Ventura, Corbin Harris and the Birdman, the myth, the legend, Tony Hawk. Tony, you were just on the host set like eight seconds ago. There's a lot of ramps over here. You can get here quick. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, let's talk about this field. Specifically, we'll start with you, Tony. Edward Domestoy has simply been so dominant. The win at Vert Alert, Mega Park, the gold medal at X Games Japan. What is clicking for Eddie right now? Uh, he's strong, he's technical, he's always blasting. And even when he lands low, he somehow finds the speed. So he's hard to beat. Um, but I do want to say, Moda Shibata, he's been working on his game. He's got all the old school tricks and the new school tricks. So I feel like he's the underdog here today. No doubt. And Moto has won here before, let's not forget. And let's not forget Jimmy Wilkins, Corbin Harris, who had a five-peat once upon a time. He was untouchable up until about a year ago on this vert ramp at X Games. Yeah, Brandon, he's every pro skateboarder's favorite skateboarder. He's got the smoothest style. He does the coolest tricks. I mean, he just looks good out there. I've got a little nugget for you. I've got something for you. A little recon? I've got a little recon. I spoke to Jimmy, and he's got a new trick that he wants to pull out that he's never done before, and he's going all out right here at X yeah, Games. He's not even saving for best trick. He's we, just going to do it. No, we all, and guess here. what? We all win. We <laughs> yes. all win for that. He was like, um, he was like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. That's what he said. Well, let's head up to the fourth member of our team, who I think has the best seat in the house, Jason Ellis. Let's get a vibe check. Jason, what's cracking, man? Uh, I'll tell you what's cracking. Tony Hawk knows a lot about who's going to do well, but he's wrong. Jimmy Wilkins is on another level. Jimmy Wilkins is doing this trick. If he makes it, and he's going to make it, and it's the style. Try to understand style, everybody. When you make tricks look like he makes them, it's the ultimate respect to skateboarding. It means you've crafted it and made it so perfect. Look at his hands when he lands. Look at how his hand lets go of the board. Everything is critical and it's the best. And that's why it's it's scored high. People need to understand how you get this guy. And then we've got Eddie is a maniac. So Eddie is going to be charging for Jimmy and I don't know who's going to win. Hey, everybody, let's get pumped. Come on, show us what's up. This many people watching a vert contest is blowing my mind right now. Let's get pumped! Unreal atmosphere out here at the Ventura Fairgrounds. The fans have returned for the first time in three years at X Games, and all is right in the world. Let's take a look at that start list. Obviously, we talked about Moto and Jimmy Wilkins, Edward Domestoy. And part of the renaissance that Vert is enjoying, Tony, really is because any of these guys can get on the podium here tonight. Oh, absolutely. This is this is the best best. I mean, these are the best transition skaters. And I, I forgot to mention Tom Shar. Tom Shar has been destroying anything with a radius yes. lately. Transition park. And it's almost it's impossible to contain him. But Mitchy Brusco is capable of all that and more. Making his 19th X Games appearance. The 26-year-old Mitchy Brusco. Look at that, set up Melon 5. Like, that's just to get speed. That's that's where skateboarding is right now. Look at the crowd that we have behind. Everyone is oh. Oh, just coming off there. Mitchy, maybe a little of the nerves getting, uh, getting on top of him right there. A silver medal and seven bronzes in this discipline, yet to climb the top of the mountain. But we know he can do it. I've seen his line, he can do it. <laughs> Tony, you've been skating with these guys at your ramp. That's where they train every single day. I mean, you know what's in the arsenal of these guys. Like, who, who's, who can do it? Is it, is it just depending on the day? Uh, a, a, a bit, you know, but if, but if someone is on point, it's going to be really hard. But like I said, when you see these guys, like, Paul Luke's got some of the craziest tech right here. 360 flip. Oh, no. Just to back it all about five feet out, <laughs> all the way across the ramp. You know, you're, you're basic back it all You're watching these guys every day, so you're even predicting the tricks that's not, that are not going down. They're just getting pretty warmed much, up. Yeah. They're just getting warmed yeah. up. I think Paul is, uh, I was going to say, he was, he was trying to just stay on right there, but he, that's that's one of his secret weapons. 360 flip indie grab right there, backside. Usually he gets that all day. I've seen him do that multiple times at your vert ramp. Tens of thousands out here for day one of X Games California 2023. Let's take another look at Paul Luke Ronchetti's first run. Oh. 
Paul Luke, a silver medal in his 11 previous X Games appearances, trying to get on the podium for the first time since 2015 when he earned that back in Austin. But here now, Augusto Akio making his fifth X Games appearance. The stoke is real with Augusto. Oh yeah, he's into it. He's into it and he's rolling in from the top. Look at that. I love wow. how the Melon 5 is a set up here these days. Oh! It's almost a so oh, 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 oh. How is he even was, holding on to that? Are you kidding? It was the frigid panic. <laughs> Is the excitement that he's going to bring only, that kind of thing is you only see that in competition. Absolutely, like, no one's trying to make that trick. Here we go. Oh, it's kind of like a saran wrap, but he got caught up there a little bit. Look at the back foot. He's, he's just his heel was on cool. him. That I point. got this. There's that shot time. so good in the flow mo. Yeah, the Stoke is real. I've watched him been skating. He's been skating street, been skating park, everything. That. Juggling in between runs on the deck. <laughs> he does that too. So here's Ronnie Gomez, a veteran of the X Games stage, making his 17th X Games appearance. Ron, Ronnie has got a tech line when he puts it all together. He's got a few of the hardest foot tricks all, all at once. Just, 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 just let's get all the 540s out of the way in the beginning. There you go, front side heel. Into a varial flip, Indy, and right here, big flip, Indy. Switch front side heel. Are you All right, that's the This is the wrong move. <laughs> yeah. All the tech first run. Ronnie, Ronnie Gomes. Gomes brings it. Wow. You couldn't ask for Man, a better it. first run from Ronnie Gomez. Um, um, one thing I asked him up on the platform just before he dropped in, he go, I said, what's, what's your strategy here? He said, Corbin, I'm going for it. And that's exactly what he did right now. I mean, those are all of the hardest tricks I've seen him do in practice. And Where guys, does he go from there? Ronnie's had his success on the big air stage and even best trick. Yet to find a vert podium in his X Games career, that, unbelievably that, enough. That could put him there. <laughs> oh, that's a sigh, wow. sigh of relief. The so bar awesome. has been set by Ronnie Gomez, a very strong 85 out the gate. One thing that we should mention too now, as you can see in the background, it's crystal clear out there and there's no wind, which is actually helping these guys. Yeah, that we were, uh, we, I, I'm gonna join, I'm gonna stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. the proverbial we, no, that was, counts, yeah. that we'll, counts. We'll let you get away with yeah. it just this one. I was I the ramp yesterday and it was very windy and it was tricky. There you go. We all get one. In. Here is Guy Curry, 14 years old. I'll tell you what I like when I see Guy do flip tricks, he always comes in tucky and that, you know, I don't know if it counts for much, but it's a style thing and I, and I like it. No, I, I'm, I'm completely with you. It, it looks really good. I mean, look at the future that this kid has in front of him. He's been doing it on this stage since he was 11 years old and, and proved that he belonged from the jump. Just destroyed it in the Mega Park, too. Correct. Yeah, Tony and I were talking during the week about the, the Mega Park. It was unbelievable. What an event. Oh. Just throw in a uh, body barrel nine for your last trick for good yeah, measure. Just Why not? <laughs> Hosted at the next skater to drop in's backyard, Elliot Sloan. Oh, so decorated, but still in search of that first like a bird goal. goal thing. Coming out of New York, oh, yeah. yeah. Heel this guy is on one. Oh, oh, no. oh. This is kick from Melon there. Now, Tony, I'm curious. Elliot, we know, has the goods, especially in a best trick contest. Few are better in the world than him, but he's had trouble sometimes putting it together for a full vert run. What goes on I there? I think it's just Elliot, is, he doesn't want to hold back ever. Right. And you've seen it on the on the big air events. Yes. He's, he's not doing a safety run. He's doing tail grab nines, and that's it. That's what he has in mind. So I respect that. It's like it's all or nothing. Yeah. 31 minutes to skate with here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final. Our comp format for today. We've got our 10 skateboarders, a 36, not 35, not 37, minute jam session, 30 second runs, best single run counts. At some point it was overall impression, now it's put that one banger run down and a look at our judging criteria, gentlemen. But here's the guy that Tony is most excited about, owner of five X Games medals, including a gold, Moto Shibata. Go. Aliyu, oh. front foot impossible lead. Oh. 
I mean, he, no one's holding back because they just, it's, it's one run. So they just want their Correct. absolute best yep. run. This is why it's going to be so good because they're going to go for it. Like, like Ronnie did. I mean, where does Ronnie go from that as well before? I don't know, maybe not grabbing the Indy stuff. <laughs> All the flip tricks, just no grab. He could do that for sure. He has done, I believe he's done switch heel, no grab. All right, we can see it. Tom Shar, oh, a decorated on. X Games career. Look at this. I love that Tom will come out with the alley lift with plenty of speed for all this stuff. Tom has just been on one. He makes it look like he's skating a mini ramp. He makes yes. it, he makes this thing look like a four foot mini ramp, and no other skateboarder does. I don't know. I don't understand it's how ironic he does that. because he used to be very small, and all ramps look big. Oh, oh wow! Can lift. Look at this Look run. At that. Here we go. Kick the bike. Yeah. Oh! Yes. They are going for broke I here. I feel like he was almost at the end of time there. Right? Yeah, it's, I heard the buzzer. But Tony, talk to us about Tom just being an all-terrain vehicle, whether it be Big Air or Mega or Park or Bird. He takes the exact same techniques and put it onto any sized wall or transition or bowl or corner. So he's the, he's the ATV. Wow, what a preview of what's to come from Tom Shar. So a 77, good enough for second place with under 30 minutes to skate with here in our final. Tony, you watch him skate all day, every day at your ramp. What has he got in the bag of tricks? Uh, well, he's got a low grind all the way across the face wall <laughs> to a giant 540. Oh! Uh, big fan of that one. Look at that alley in front of Ollie. No one does it like that. Oh, man, alley of Indy 5. You can tell Jimmy's just trying to stay on for this last trick. It's wild. Back to the left, 540. Here we go. Oh, Are you ready so for this? Good. What's he got? Tail grab, forward to fakey, 720. Oh, yes! Are oh, you kidding? The first one ever! <laughs> NPD at the end of your run! Are you kidding me? Yes! Yes! X Games 2023, what's happening? He said he That's was going to do it. it. He said he was going to do it, Tony. Jimmy and goes X Games mode on his first run of the night. Uh -huh. We call that, folks, back to, uh, that is called a tail grab McKenzie, originally done by Bucky Lasek, indie grab, and uh, we've never seen a variation of it. But look at that. We wondered why grab. was he practicing best trick? I gotta tell you, I was seeing him try this last week on my ramp, and he wasn't even eyeing the landing. I'm not kidding, like he wasn't even considering making it then. And there it is, first one. Yes! Yeah, you think we liked it? <laughs> oh my. Oh yeah, we liked it. I mean, just the fact. Oh no, are we a meme again? <laughs> Hey, it's happened before. Oops. I be <laughs> Oops, we did I'm it again. I'm block the meme camera from now on. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, 92.33 for yeah, Jimmy Wilkins. Up, baby. Yeah. And Jimmy in familiar territory, as this is an event he's won six times before. And boys, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but he may very well be on his way to a seven. Wow. And we're not even done with run one. How about our gold medalist from X Games Japan? How about our winner from Vert Alert? He, uh, Edward Domastor. He looks focused. Tough act to follow, but Eddie's ready for the pressure. I love that tail grab. Just, he gets so far over the deck. Huge Indy 5. Whoa, is that a double grab? Throwing the oh, oh, oh. big frontside five. He's the only one in this contest doing that. Slapping that tail down. Yeah, he was not phased about oh, Jimmy Wilkins. Eddie That's the Eddie special right there. What happened there, Tony? He was just leaning back a uh, little too far. No, he well, he was about to hang up, and he was trying to he was trying to not squat. Right. So he was trying to keep it standing, but because he landed so high, it, he just had he just had to squat out of desperation, and it was too late for that. Gotcha. Well, there's plenty more time on the clock. That Eddie Ooh, I mean, that, that run right there will probably get him a medal if he lands that. Look at this. Oh, no, it's not a double grab. Sorry, <laughs> sun's in my eyes. What can I say? Well, for more, let's head back up to Jason Ellis. Jason, what's going on? What did I say? I told you Jimmy Wilkins is the greatest skateboarder that has ever lived on the face of the planet. I'm just so happy that I lived long enough to see Jimmy Wilkins exist on a skateboard.
I can't believe he did that. Well, in had a he, run. In his run, he practiced it over and over again. It looked like he could have made it, but it also looked like maybe one time ever. But when he, I knew on that backside there, all he needed was this giant crowd and everybody here and all the pressure. And he made that look easy. I feel like he's going to do it again. I feel like there's more to come for Jimmy Wilkins. My mind is coming out my ear a little bit. I'll be okay, though. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get medical up there. I that love that. Or no, <laughs> he seems serious. I love that, though. I mean, we should all consider ourselves lucky that we're here uh, in the yes, flesh. Yes, that we live in this timeline. Yes. Line. Absolutely. <laughs> I do. Yeah, we definitely witnessed something there. I mean, the fact that he was just trying all the time, but oh, wow. We're Go. moving, boys. Run Mitchie. number two, Mitchy Brusco. Look at you see, Mitchy, how solid he is. He's almost like he has to slow down sometimes. Oh, there we go. Oh, Kick the melons. 540. And watch this. I'm a big fan of this right here. 720. Here we go. He's going to Indy, Indy 3. And now watch. He's going switch. Switch backside. 540. He's going to. Are you serious? Oh, Difficulty factor goes to 11. Just an average five. No big deal. Stealthish 3. Yes. That's the run that Mitchie wanted. And I to mean, your that's point, Tony, put him in the top three. That's the, that is the Mitchie Brusco experience. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to explain how difficult it is when he does that indie three and sets himself up to be switched. Like you have to actually change your entire mindset in that moment. It's because you're so twisted up. Because right? indie threes, you're just recovering from that trick if you do it on a regular basis, even yes. if you're good at it. And he has to switch his mindset in the middle of it to be like, okay, now I'm going switch. Whoa. And I need to get speed out of it. Mitchie Bruce going 90.33 and, and the Corbin hype meter. You hit him, you hit him with an awesome. I, I hit him with an awesome. It was, it was awesome. I love to see Mitchie, I mean, he's an old hand around here. 26. <laughs> he is. Paul right. Luke Ronchetti. Paul's not going to. Oh, oh, Narjar. Second trick. That's a 540 detail right there. And there is very few people in the world that can do that or ever want to do that. Oh, oh and just slapping down a mountain. Oh, oh, just because oh, just, just he wanted like to. Like a 90s tail snack. Just because he wanted to. And he's the only one that can get away with doing a judo in a. Uh, Pro finals. I actually love his lofty backside, at least he does. In yeah. the middle of the ramp. Go, big, oh, oh man, trying to do a big spin lip slide. Went to Smith, almost made it. Pretty solid up to there, though. That's a better run. No. I mean, the wheels are turning. He's He knows what he wants. It's that one run that's going to count. There I it can't is. even explain how dangerous and how difficult that trick is right there. I think we've seen three people ever do it. Sandro, obviously. Sandro. One of the best to do it. Skateboard Vert starting off the night. What an opener. And dare I say, as it should be, gentlemen. Man, they're showing off already. Yes. Yes, Brad. We concur. <laughs> How are you going to MBD at the end of your first run? I mean, the fact that he just got it out of the way. I to Jason's it. point, do we see it again? Yeah, How I does he up the end? Here's Augusto Akio. Oh, wow. Good slobber, tweaking it. This just got some. Uh oh. Trying the backside nose grind there and just slipping off. It kind of went into backside nose blunt. I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, if anyone could do it, I think he can. Is that, is that <laughs> gonna, is that gonna center him? He's going to. Is that gonna get him in the mode, like in the rhythm? Got it. Okay. That's what it takes. It's a meditation. Yep. for him. Whatever it takes to get that line done and get into oh, you thought uh, one I was of the top spots. You thought I was playing about the juggling. No, <laughs> it's very real. So Ronnie Gomez, who came correct on that first run, what does he do for an encore? Wow. Ronnie lands so high. He's got the confidence now too, guys. Yeah, right good there. point, Corbin. Just going through the motions on the fives. Yep. Heel flip. Aerial flip. Big flip. Oh! oh. Same run, 
pretty much. I, I, I think the fact that he just had everyone on the edge of their seat the whole time. There were so many moments where that could have gone wrong. <laughs> I feel like just the double grab heel flip to Fakey should set him up with a little bit higher score. I mean, this is this controlled one, chaos. This one right here, you see how he doesn't land straight? Yes. He, in practice, he slid out on that numerous times. So uh, he learned his lesson, I guess. And that switch heel, no one's doing that one. Well, the boys are showing out. He is pumped on that one. Ronnie, two runs. What really a, special. What a start to this thing. An 86.66. Yeah, so to your better. point, you guys were yeah. right. Up to score. But anything could happen still in this. So Guy Curry. Yeah, especially with Guy dropping in. Obviously, we all remember his gold medal performance in Vert Best Trick a couple of years ago. He's been close in Vert, a silver and a bronze. Can he Question knock the is, door of the top three? Do you want to see a 900? Well, you're probably going to see one. Yeah, 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 I do. I want to see Look at that. Kick for Bendy. Body very off, kick for five. Still kept a lot of speed there, too. Yeah, I love how the lip slide. Here we go, 900. No oh, speed oh, oh, yeah. ever. Squatting it out. Oh, fakey fakey, Andy five. Keep bringing the heat. Tony, Tony, just talk to me. Like, let's just go through that. To do it, like, normally I, with a 900, you're, you're you doing as much speed setup, as yeah. possible. Yagi, yeah, you want as much speed as possible? I mean, th the fact that he did the lip side all the way across the ramp gives him a little bit more speed. But, but it's, still, no one else is, is going to be able to pull it with that much speed. So everybody and else he has can just to do ball that. Up. You see him, he just gets super tucked. He spots his landing even after he's below the coping, but oh. he saved it. <laughs> Did you see that little over rotation on that? Uh-oh, mean cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Someone's going to get us on that later on. I An 87.66 for Gee. Good enough for that bronze medal spot. Yeah, that, that is, wow. Those top four. What a run for Guy. Some heavy, heavy runs oh. to be judging. I mean, apples to oranges in a lot of ways, but I get it. So Elliot slow. Go. Elliot with a huge heel flip. Coming in tuck knee, big fan of that. There we go, heel flip. Still just got so much speed. All right, this is where we had a last time. Kick flip melon, no problem. Oh, oh method on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, no. Oh. So that wall. Throughout, throughout practice was a big problem because the wind was pushing you out from the from the coping and uh, it was also killing your speed on the way up so um, I'm surprised you had trouble yeah right but you can see it just took off a little bit too early an unreal crowd on hand here in Ventura California for day one of X Games I mean look at this are you not entertained I mean this 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 as the vibe that X Games is really back. It's good to be in Ventura in the one spot right on the beach. There's no pl other place I'd rather be. I'm here. I'm not leaving. Moto Shabbat. <laughs> yeah, we've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> Moto alley oh. from Front Impossible, Lean Air. alley McTwist. The alley McTwist blows my mind. Here we go. Kick flip McTwist right here. I've seen his line. He's going oh. And what's next? Make it a 55. No problem for Moto. Looking strong. Oh, that trick? Okay. Wow. Frontside Cat Madonna is is so hard to land straight. Is it just because you're, it's blonde the it's, whole time? No, it's also because. Oh, still seven. Wow. I love how the big twist is just to get him back. Oh, no. Oh. Moto. So the very last trick there was going to be a, a front foot impossible lean to tail, which he usually does any any given run. Right. Um, but that, uh, this alley-oop, that is so hard because you cannot see your landing zone the way that you're used to seeing it. It's kind of like moving up towards you. And Tony, as you said, from a judge's perspective, apples to oranges. I mean, all of these guys that have top scores right now are doing it so differently. If he had made that, it was going to be a toss-up about the top three. No question. Yeah, that uh, front side cow Madonna, it, it, your body wants to keep spinning, so it, it kind of makes you go into a weaver mode, and he can stop himself mid-spin. I don't know how he does it. But he does it. He does it.
Wow. He lives to tell. An 89. Ooh. Good enough for a top wow. three. I feel like there's going to be a lot of changes here in the in the next 17 yeah, we minutes. Moving, we can just keep moving the scores up. Just jumped out of my chair for my G, Mitchie Brusco. Ronnie Gomez with another great rum, bro. Yeah, me and Tom could break into that. Absolutely. Yeah. So here's oh, Tom Shar's second run. It's like a disaster lip slide. Looks like he's just going for it again, going through the motions. Wow, back tail is just for good measure. And that's the one of the tricks where he makes it look oh. like a ramp that's so small. Yep. Go. Oh, how do you cap lip slide? Body barrel five, he's got it. No speed with that. Front side blood. <laughs> See how much he pops on that front side? Yes. Like he's coming down to a mini ramp it, below. It makes it look like he's going up a, a flat wall. Yeah, like yes. a, Like a vert, yeah. vert wall, flat wall, and he pops out because he needs to get further back. Yeah, he doesn't even need the transition on the way down. I mean, that could bust him into top three right there. What a heavy run from Tom Shar. That As we just, take another look, I mean, this is getting exciting. He had no speed coming out of that too, and he just wanted to put it down. Yeah, so that's that's almost halfway down that landing, and then he went into a frontside blunt because that's all the speed he had. Yeah, I think so. Kind of set him back up again, right? <laughs> wow. Under 16 minutes to skate with here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final, an 85.33. If that's wow, sixth, that's place, sixth place, that just tells you how elevated the skateboarding and, and you know is, it is here tonight. The only thing that you can say is, is because Tom's tricked us so hard, he had to do a couple setup errors. Right, yeah. And they don't want to see the setups. That's got to be it. Well, there you see our current leader. Let's learn a little bit more about Jimmy Wilkins in this Pacifico. Discover more. To get ready for X Games Ventura, I've just kind of been trying to skate a lot. Super exciting to be back with a crowd at a venue, proper X Games. The crowd makes a really big difference when you're skating, like it definitely brings a lot of energy and working on a new trick that I'm gonna try to add in at the end of my line. Hopefully I get to that. I have six X Games gold medals and five of them were consecutive. It's the Jimmy Wilkins show. How can people compete with this, Bob? Wow. At the end of the day, like, everyone deserves to be here and everyone can win, you know? It's just everyone rips so hard, but it depends on who's got it that day, I guess. It's how it always is, man. You never know. But uh, you, the only way it's been done is grabbing Indy, so he grabbed tail grab. So it, we call it the tail grab McKenzie. Jimmy Wilkins, I love that he said that they're proper X Games with the fans back. And he put on a show for them on run number one with an NBD. I am like at the edge of my seat of no. what we could see here the rest of the way from Jimmy. But it is. Oh. It's, wait, was that his run right there? Yeah, he was going for a kick, so, backside lip slide yeah. at warp speed, I'll tell you that. I think he was going to run out of ramp had he made that anyway. <laughs> Maybe he's going to do Straight a stage dive. Yeah, stage why not? Stop. I was going to say. He said he, the crowd's back. Jimmy! Let me jump into it. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then the music starts. That okay. would be an amazing that would be so close good. out. I <laughs> kick flip back, live across it, and then just eject. <laughs> Talk about it, man. That's yeah. happening. Is that? Yeah. Is this what you want? <laughs> well, I, I mean, he said it uh, in that package right there that he was going to try a new trick. He did it in his yeah. first run. Yeah. Like unbelievable. So Eddie Domestoy oh, wow. sitting in eighth place and goes down early. So that's the trick number that, two. That's the trick he washed out on last time, but he did it later in his run. I think he wants to do it early because it's e it's easier for him if he has speed. Gotcha. He wants to be higher. He can probably yeah, I mean, that's the kind of trick that requires a lot of airtime and a lot of effort. And if you're already tired in the run. We're two runs in here at day one of X Games California, and it's Jimmy Wilkins leading the way. Who's going to catch him? We'll find out when we return to night one of X Games California here in Ventura. Wait. <laughs> Games California is brought to you by Pacifico. Brewed for those who carve their own path. Discover responsibly.
and Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Does that ever get old, or what are you thinking every time you do that? Uh, don't fall backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's real smart. That's a good good plan. I wanted to do any, and the last any one twisted my ankle and threw my confidence off, so I just figured I'd stick with the one I know. You, you, lost, you lost your confidence, though, then you did a regular 900. Yeah, well, I know that one. I'm used to that one now. It's tough being a Tony Hawk, I tell you. What do you think, LA? Did you enjoy that 900? Wow. <laughs> you guys haven't aged a bit. <laughs> that's remarkable. Uh, thanks. I know it's not true, but it's okay. <laughs> We're still here. We're doing it. Right, Jason? Yeah. Oh, I feel like I look better than you, but you still skate better. So I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, I, I can, I can I'm live with that. I yeah, can yeah with you that. can live with that, right? It's all right. Yep. Appreciate the candor it's okay. from Jason. What you Ellis. see is what you get here. <laughs> Welcome back to Pacifico Men's Skateboard. Bert, Brandon Graham, Tony Hawk, Corbin Harris, and of course, Jason Ellis. We're having fun out here, and I don't know if we've ever seen the start to a Vert contest quite like what we're seeing transpire here this today, boys. This has been boys. wild. I mean, almost everyone has a ridiculous run under their belt. Oh, 900 high. Oh, wow. wow. Mitchie Brusco. <laughs> wow. Out for rolling. <laughs> There's something about the roll in there. I know it, it gives people speed, but it is hard to to get your timing straight yeah. off it because you're used to coming down the vert wall. There's a certain rhythm and timing to that. When you're coming off of this big bank wall, it's hard to snap into that mode. That's, and, uh, that's what I was going to ask. Is it the rhythm? Because it's the you rhythm. Know, yeah. You... So you could see that he pulled off too far, and I believe it's because he was going down that roll. Yeah. Ooh. So Paul here's Paul Luke. Luke. Giant judo. Oh, oh that oh. overturn. I mean, that's kind of a crossbone. Stopping that down. Yes, bigs. I mean, I feel like Paul's one of the only ones that can really get away with just a frontside stiffy, and it's cool. Ooh! 360 for Bindi. That's the one you were talking about before. He's got locked in. He wants to do something on the lip here. Heel heel flip. Bindi. Oh, frontside heel flip. Solid run. I mean, he put it together, it was, you know, a few setups, but. Got the tricks in there. A full pull, the best run of the day so far for Paul Luke. Comes on run number three. <laughs> so another look at that. In flow motion. 360 flip, Indy. That one's so hard to catch. It seems incredibly hard to catch that one. An 81 for Paul Luke, good enough for seventh place. Augusto, you can put the balls down. It's uh, time to drop in. It's the meditation, I'm telling you right now. He just wants to get in the zone. What if he dropped in with them in his hand? And did a five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the score's gonna go up. <laughs> Is it? I'd love to get an answer. I'd love to get just an answer like from the judges five. on that. And then, and then toss them all and keep the run going. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, crooked cop, Melon Five. He's just twisting his board every way here. Nice. I like that Gusto will just throw in some 80s tricks, but he does them so smooth and so big that they work. Oh, alley oop, kickflip lean. That is one of my favorite tricks. There you go, front board. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> uh, that's like, that's the go-to kickflip five these days. That's amazing. Kickflip body barrel five. We've yeah. seen that in at least four or five people's runs. How did he have so much weight on that front truck, Tony, and still come out of that? I mean, it, just fighting the wheel bite the whole way Here it down. is. Here it is. Let's see the slow-mo all the way out on this one. It's because you need a lot of speed for that. And he didn't have it, but there. look at that. You see that wheel oh, bike? Oh, wow. Thank yeah. you. So you can actually believe what that was, but it's 
We are in the midst of a very heavy Pacifico men's skateboard vert final here on night one of X Games California. And what a treat these fans have been in store for so far. Jimmy Wilkins, of course, leading the way with that NDD on his very first run. I don't know if anyone can catch him, but someone who's been skating very well here tonight, maybe the best we've seen him on the vert ramp in a long time at X Games, Ronnie Gomez. Yeah, he's really happy about it also. I'm, I'm really wondering what and how he can up the ante on this run. Oh man, lands so high every time. Here we go, this is the same run. Oh no. I feel for, like there was, yeah, I feel like he had something planned. For, for, yeah, I feel like he did too. But for the people at home, like when you land that high and your wheels touch the coping, like how dangerous is that turning? Uh, I mean, that, that can be super dangerous, obviously, because that's you're at the very risk of, of hanging up. You're at the, as close as you can be to hanging up. Yeah. Um, but it gives you a lot of speed. Well, there's a look at our judging criteria. And uh, for more transparency, let's actually head over to Jason Rothmeyer, our head judge. Jason, uh, our minds have been blown so far early in this vert contest. How about you boys? This might be the hardest vert contest I've ever judged in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but talk to us about Jimmy Wilkins, that first run out the gate. I mean, that was insane. Yeah, that's a psycho way to set the bar, right, to do something that Definitely no one's ever seen in a contest before. I haven't seen it on video either, so it's 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 awesome. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's never been done. Never yeah. been hit. <laughs> and it's never been done. You. Lincoln claimed never been done. I, I had never seen it before in a video, so yeah, it's, it's so sick. Yeah, thank you, Jason. So again, Wilkins leading the way, Mitchie in second, and Moto Shibata clinging to that third spot. One guy who could potentially crash this podium, though, is sitting in that fourth place position, Gee Curry. Yeah, he definitely can. We want to know what he's got in the bag of tricks. That's the thing he was lacking before was the speed and the height, and he's got it now. So tricks like that. He doesn't have to squat it out. He doesn't have to struggle with it. I mean, lip slide to 900. Here we go. Oh, man. How do you stop spinning when you're twirling that fast? Well, he does it. He does it. Keep him in the landing halfway Switch down well. that one. And, oh, Fakie and Fakie, Indy 5. Solid. I think he was hoping to get some speed out of there, just something else, but it worked. So time expires on Guy Curry, who once again delivers here on run number three. I think he'll take it. Let's take another look. There you go. Kickflip body rail. So, for the un uninformed, that leaves the, the board behind a 180. So it's board does a uh, 360 and he does a 540. I love how that's the trick that everyone's doing. It's like the front side. I know, it's like the, yeah, doing this. Hang on, it's like the front side boneless I, in park. You know everyone did that. I was say, Keegan Palmer <laughs> kind of won the Olympics with that trick. He had, yeah. That was his secret weapon. That was it. No, he, he practiced that in Arizona, yeah. Keegan Palmer, and then he ended up winning because of that trick. It was his secret weapon. Yeah, no one was, else had a secret. And secret that weapon. was like the only 540 variation we saw in the park event. So Absolutely. It worked. All right, so here we go. Here's Elliot, Elliot oh, Sloan, who only that, knows one way to go. Can we say that was a uh, heel flip Christ there? And that's to oh. the moon. I think Elliot's going to get another run. He just needs one. He just needs one. That's all he needs, and, and he's going for it. He's going for broke. But as you guys said, I mean, he just, he goes Sendy no matter what. No matter yeah. what. That's just. It, it, but it, that'll work in your benefit in this format. Correct. I mean, the same with Jimmy, you know? Just go in for it straight out of the gates. It's paid off. So here's Moto Shibata. What can he do to oh, man. potentially topple so Mitchie Brusco gnarly. for that second spot? Go. Kick the five. Oh, Japan on it. Oh. It felt like he got caught up in that, Tony. He's all right. No, I know. He's fine. <laughs> oh. Yes, Ali, you flip to Smith. I mean, he brings the 80s and he kills it. I love it. Corbin's like, I, I think he got lost in the sauce. So he's like, no, I know. Trust yeah, me. Okay. He'll, be, okay. he'll be all right. I see what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm going to get the meter Just out for that you one. you can't see it, he can see it. <laughs> oh. it, it, it. It looked like it, but he looks, yeah. he, he rode it out of that smooth. Let's, like, check out Moto okay, yeah. Let's check out Moto Vision here. 
So he will hold on to that first run score that's got him in that bronze medal spot right now. We turn our attention though to Tom Shar. So much history has been written here at X Games. Let's hear more from Tom on his favorite moments at X Games. I think my favorite moment is the Bob run from like 2001, I think, where he just did everything. Bob Bernquist, he needs a 95-5 to overtake first. Bucky had like a 96 before Bob dropped him, and then Bob was just like, hold on, watch this, and just did every trick that you could think of. Into the switch mode. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, 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 we have lost our minds. I think my favorite was probably just the first X Games I did. I was so young and I didn't really know what was going on, but it was uh, it was really cool just to be a part of it. And uh, I don't know, that's kind of what started my X Games career. From 2012 Big Air to 2023, being a force on this vert ramp, Tom Shar can do it all. Tony, you and I were talking during break. He's in six, maybe because of a couple setup tricks. If he can knock those out, certainly podium worthy. Absolutely. I mean, right, like, right now. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, you don't come back from that one. He uh, got ahead of himself on the 540 through the flat, and that really just screws up your rhythm and your timing. It would have been a dangerous move to try to land that tail grab five right there. Well, he knew that. That's why he came off. I, I mean, he's got, I think he's got one more. At least, right? He's got one mark. Yeah, it's tracking that way as we're closing in on the seven minute mark here in the Pacifico men's skateboard vert, Jimmy Wilkins. What does he do for run number three? I don't know how it in first feels place. to you guys, but it felt like a long time at the start, and now it just feels like the shortest period ever. Yeah. Oh, there oh. you go. Kick flip back lip. As fast as you can go. He, he was hauling on that one. 120 miles per hour. I don't even know how you come in on that. With not a lot of room to spare. No. So Edward Domestoy sitting in ninth place right now, still looking for that familiar run that has put him in the top spot in he's a number of contest finishes this past year. He's looking focused on. Kickflip, Indy 5, he's got it. Oh, oh. man. He just keeps landing a little too high. Right there, he didn't have quite the right rotation. I believe if he gets another run, it's coming. It's going now. Slowly but surely. Jason Ellis nearly had his hand on the board up there. Maybe we would have seen it run from him. Well, three runs in here at day one of X Games California. More from the Pacifico men's skateboard vert when we return after this. I'm uh, wait, yeah, wait, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, uh, I'm, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm getting word, going. I'm getting word. We're gonna keep this thing going. Dude, I'm sorry, boys, quitters. let's keep going. More skateboard, Jimmy, we all win. In fact, let's go up to Jason Ellis. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy. Jason, what do you got for us? I got Jimmy Wilkins. I got the greatest skateboarder in the history of the universe that ever lived. <laughs> and he's right here next to me. Jimmy, you already did a trick that you were like, I'm going to try and do it in my ride. And then you did it first ride. Uh -huh. What do you do next to beat Jimmy Wilkins? Um, I don't know. I'd really love to do this kickflip back lip uh, off the roll and something I've wanted to do for ages. Uh, I don't know if it's any better. It'd just be cool. So. <laughs> No, if you do a kickflip back to the lip side, that's way better. Trust me. <laughs> do that, and then do the, your little lean 540 thing, and then just wipe the floor. Tell everybody to go home. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Come on, Jimmy. Thanks, dude. Uh, I love that. What's Jimmy Wilkins going to do to Jimmy Wilkins? It's Jimmy v. Jimmy here at the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert. This next segment brought to you commercial free. So, Mitchie Brusco. Sitting in that silver medal spot. What can he do here on his fourth and potentially final run? More of the same, but keep his speed up. Uh, look at look at his face. He looks 100. Like he wants to. Oh. Just keeps pulling off a little too far. Like if he were to try to land that, his legs would be completely extended, and he wouldn't be able to to, to pull it off through through the flat bottom. It seemed like he was at the bottom of that, that sheet. 
there. Well, he was gonna land. He was gonna land low, but also his legs were already fully extended. So that's just the recipe for disaster. Yeah. You're gonna and, and have a bad time. It's good that he threw time. it away because I mean, it, yeah, you're, yeah, it, you're gonna have a bad time. You do a 900. Well, and your legs are straight. We wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us, tell us more about things we don't know about. That's a very exclusive club there, Tony. That you are the uh, yeah, president, time he does founding that, member pizza. of. Like some, just so yell pizza. Mitchy, pizza. <laughs> so here's Paul Luke Ronchetti, who's put a couple oh, of solid runs together. So technical that trick. Five point in tail. You got to be so precise. Oh, this is the down. run that Paul Luke wanted. Three six five Andy right there. It does seem like it's it. Judo. Oh, oh no. no! Just the grab on that five. And guys, I don't know if you're keeping score at home. He had an 81, and he's in eighth place right now. Wow. That's how intense this contest is. I mean, vert skateboarding right now is just being pushed to the limits. I mean, that was not that long ago a podium run score, potentially. Well, I think they would have scored it higher a while back. So the giving an 81 in the context of this situation, yes. But had he done that run five years ago, they would have scored higher because they'd never seen him. Before. Right. Oh, hang on. Is this also some sort of meditation where you have your uh, skateboard on your nose? The, the chin balance? <laughs> that was chin, was it? Yeah. Be the board. Be the board. <laughs> Augusto <laughs> Aquino. <laughs> We're closing in on the three minute mark here in Pacific O Men's Skateboard. Nice. We're having fun with it. Here we go. 85. Oh, this is a good run. This could be the run he's after. Oh, Aliou. Kick from Lean. It just seemed like when he kicked that out for the kick, Aliou kicked it. Lean, it, it, it was a little slow. I would honestly say that would happen more often than not on that trick for anyone trying it because it's most, the most awkward kickflip position. You're flying blind, you can't see your landing, and you're trying to reach for a melon right. grab. There's just so many things that are going wrong there. Even when it's not alley -oop, it's hard, and that happens. Oh, the so yeah. when you're doing alley -oop, we rarely see it. We right. rarely see it. Yep, intense. So getting close to the two-minute warning here in the final. Ronnie Gomez sitting in fifth place. Can anyone else shake this up? That's the question. A little double pump there he did on the flat bottom. Do you see yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, and he's always landing. He's always dancing with danger with his landings in terms of landing high. So if he misses his pump, it makes it even more dangerous. And here for the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final, being brought to you commercial free. As we try to crown a winner, who will reign supreme? Can anybody? Steal this thing away from Jimmy Wilkins. So these are fourth and final runs. We are getting official word. Here now, Guy Curry. The way he starts off with that alley of five. It feels like he's going to lose his speed, but then he doesn't. Here we go. Oh, just oh. the grab on that one. We call that, uh, when, you, when you grab the wrong rail like that, we call that a suitcase grab. And, uh, you're not really I mean, <laughs> well, a few Ask people Bob have. Bob Burnquist, I will say, is the exception to the rule. That, that in my time of X Games history, is some of the, the best skateboarding to watch ever. No when question. Bob is Bob grabbing will, it upside down. Bob will throw down. a half a roll into it. Um, yeah, shout out to Bob yeah. Burnquist. Bob and is one of one. And all of the moments. So oh. here now, Elliot oh, Sloan. Yeah, that. All that that 85. And a tough day at the office for Elliot Sloan. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. He's, he's going to be disappointed with that, unfortunately. But, you know, that's, that's skateboarding, and that's the level that we've got right now. But he's not done this weekend. He'll still have best trick. And uh, I'm sure he's got a few tricks up his sleeve for that, Brandon. So here's Moto Shibata. Can he shake things up? He's sitting in that bronze medal spot, Tony. Oh, I love that trick so Alley much. Alley hoops are insane. Kick flip. Japan oh. 540. Here we go. Take a fake five. He's trying to the front side cap. Oh, 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 sliding on. it. He slid I don't on think that he one. wanted to slide it, but he had to. Maybe. Stale seven. Yes. Wow. Bringing it around. I love that. There's oh. a run. So right there.
right there. Wow. That front side air. I'm pretty sure that he was going to try the uh, impossible knee to tail. And you can tell that he kind of wobbled on the way up and just said, you know what, I got to stay on. So and he did. There. He stayed on. How does this change things, do you think, Tony? I, I feel like the judges, it's kind of what he did on the last run, good run he had. But I feel like the judges are going to see it as a little better. I don't know why. Interesting. So a fire run to close it out for Moto Shibata. Is it enough to potentially bump down Michi Brusco? It's probably going to be about the same score. There you go, 89.33. So the slight jump bump. Slight jump, yeah. You know what you're talking Someone about. Someone saw something special. Just, a, just enough. Do you think he went a little higher that time yeah, as maybe well? That was I it, think yeah. it was the high. Yeah. So Here we go. here's Tom Shar. Don't count out Tom Shar. He's an all terrain nice. vehicle. He's not doing that. Okay, he's kind of playing it safe here. Ollie into that backside tail side, locking it in. Oh, 360 flip, yes. and he's it around. There's a new one. This is going to change things. Oh, man. That, that cap out of the lip slide is so hard. Here we go. Kickflip, no speed. Just yes, pass. and that was on the buzzer. Oh. That was on the buzzer. That's Tom. it. Oh. <laughs> lip slide revert to oh. cap disaster. Backside revert just for fun because the buzz, the, it was time was up. Yeah, but, but, but you know what? You, you've been in a lot of contests over, over your years. When you keep going at the end and time's still done, that sometimes plays with the judges, it does, right? I mean, it has to, a little bit. It, yeah, it, it could influence them for sure. Yeah. And, and I don't know, why not? He's, he, was, he was on a roll. Yeah, he was on a roll. So just keep it going. And you just want to see more when that's happening. Doesn't matter what trick it is. But even separating what he did after the buzzer, that run from Tom Shaw. That's his best run, by far. He's he's got to be happy the with that one. The only thing that, that they could, the only critique they could give him is that he did have to do one or two setups to get to those impossibly hard tricks. Yeah, an 86.33, so he bests his score, but does not move up in the standings. So just two skaters left to drop in here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final. Coming to you commercial free. Our current leader drops in now. Jimmy Wilkins might be the best vert skater of this generation from Munchie, Maine. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this is a seventh career uh, vert no, gold medal, man. Be hard to argue. Hey, Brandon, I was going to say commercial free because these guys aren't even letting us go in here. Yeah, if we tried to get up, we could. <laughs> there is so much action going down here. And then there was one. One last guy who can shake things up. Our gold medalist from Japan. A win at Vert Alert just a few weeks ago. Eddie Domestor. Yet to find that solid run here tonight. This Damastoy save his best for last. I spoke to his manager uh, earlier today on text. He's overseas and couldn't be here at the moment, but he said he's just he's just locked into gear lately. He just feels it. So uh, if he's feeling it, he looks pretty confident. A couple of big deep breaths, and he's about to roll in for the last run. Huge frontside tail grab. Oh, kick for the 5 this time. Oh, he's it worked because he had all the speed. Frontside five, huge. AKA Rodeo. Tony, you're right. He's keeping the speed now. That's what he wanted. He's got a mean Madonna, too. <laughs> Holding on to that. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Kick with 83. He was so close. So he close. was on one. I, I believe if he made that run, he was going to maybe land in second or third, but you're not going to beat Jimmy's starter run. I mean, that was it. That is it. I mean, that started was, at the top. That was mind blowing. I mean, for us to come out, he, he said it to us. He goes, I'm going for it right now. As we check out the replay right now. I mean, arguably the best vert final we have seen in so long, maybe ever, headlined by Jimmy Wilkins earning, I won't say it until it's official, but I'll say it. And and NBD, <laughs> we lost our minds. And, and it wasn't sketchy. He landed that thing perfect. absolutely perfect. perfect. Yeah. On his first run. His first Jimmy run. Wilkins. Started at the top, now we're here. <laughs> winning. Wow. A seventh career X Games gold medal.
He's got to be got to be really stoked with that one. Oh, what an what an achievement! And I'm so glad that I'm back in the booth to see it. So Jimmy wins gold, Mitchie with the silver, and Moto Shibata earning bronze. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys are like, could be this guy, could be that guy. What a moment for Jimmy Wilkins. Let's head down to Jason. Look, everybody, I told you he was the greatest skateboarder of all time in the history of the universe. And look, he got a gold medal to prove it. <laughs> Were you a little bit nervous trying to do the trick that you've never done before in a contest ride? Uh, yeah, it was pretty scary, but um, I was mostly just excited to like come out here and try something new and have all my friends here, so that was super sick. Uh, it was really fun. <laughs> it looked really good, and the crowd was super psyched. Did the crowd help you get pumped? It's been a while. Yeah, um, it, it's definitely been a while for X Games, but I was kind of just like, was really close to the trick, and I just needed the crowd to help me like commit, yeah. you know? Well, they did it, and you did it, and you are officially, like I said before the contest started, the greatest skateboarder of all time in the history of the universe. Jimmy Wilkins, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what a performance, oh. number seven for Jimmy Wilkins. Guys, final thoughts. I mean, just to be out here again with the fans, this field putting on a show, it was just special to be out here. That was the most exciting uh, vert or transition skating that I've ever seen, and I feel wow. like it's just every year You've it's seen getting a few. better. And I'm thankful for X Games for including vert because it is not a lost art, and you can see why. Hey, it is something special. I, I just love how humble Jimmy is. He is. He's one of the greatest skateboarders of all time. No he's question. got one of the greatest styles. He just doesn't compare to something like he's just got something special. And for him to come out and do that trick that's never been done before, I'm so glad to be back and in, in, in this seat because that was that was great. Yeah, an amazing experience. Congratulations you're to all our lucky entire to see field. <laughs> I hope you like what you saw. What a performance from all of our skateboarders out here tonight. Best vert final ever? Yeah, I uh, wouldn't doubt that. An unreal showing, but congratulations again to Jimmy Wilkins on earning his seventh career gold medal. Much more from X Games California after this.